Yeah, Jeff and Susie, behind me, you can see a wall that basically came crumbling down, sending chunks of concrete and a lot of dirt onto the street below and the parked cars here. You can also see that big piece just now wedged in the front window of this Honda Accord. Now, this car wasn't the only victim to this big mess. I woke up this morning at like maybe like six and then just like heard like it thought I thought a bomb went off. What Jason Gudaz actually heard was this retaining wall coming down onto his car and the one parked in front of his in Echo Park. Chunks of concrete and dirt flattening and crushing his green Subaru and this burgundy Honda. Kind of a whole mass of like earth and bricks and all these things just came down and just leaned up on my car and did so in such a way with so much force. Jason believes the constant rain caused this hillside and 100-year-old wall to come down. His car was a total loss and was eventually towed, but the Honda still sits under a heavy mess. As whoever was in front of me, she comes out of the door, she takes like one look at the car and then she's just like, goes back to bed like she can't handle it. <laughs> Earlier in the day, the ground gave way under this house in the Hollywood Hills, sending mud and debris into the neighbor's yard. Across the street, parts of this pool were broken away because the ground had shifted under it, so it had to be drained to reduce the weight on an unstable hillside. Down below in Nichols Canyon, homes directly in the path had to be evacuated. Residents on edge. I'm scared, like I'm, uh, I'm afraid everything's going to go down. In La Cañada Flintridge, the rain saturated this hillside behind a home and brought down a retaining wall. Fortunately, no injuries reported here. Back in Echo Park, the house where the retaining wall crumbled was red tagged. Despite what happened, Jason seems to have a pretty good attitude. The cars are still a loss, but I don't know. Insurance covers it. We'll figure it out. It's life. You know, it is what it is. Now the gas has been shut off at this building and as you can see it's also been red tagged for now. We're also happy to say that in all of this big mess nobody was injured. Reporting live tonight in Echo Park, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News. Okay.